Hey there, this is Beth O'Shea from Inspiring Young Learners, and I'm going to show you how these three resources will help you maximize your time with your newcomers or intermediate ELLs. So let's get started. The first resource are the speaking and writing cards. These are monthly sets. You get 20 in each set. For, so for the entire year, you could have a new picture prompt every single day. And what I recommend is start every class with one of these picture prompts for two different reasons. One, because it gets their brain thinking in English, it gets them warmed up and ready for the class. And two, because then they know exactly what to expect every single class when it starts. So these can be so helpful to do that and they're all prepared for you. So what you can do is you just pick a card, you can start at the beginning and you have them look at the vocabulary, you have them walk through the see, think, question, connect. You can have them um, add some text box over here and respond by writing, or you can have them talk with each other. However you wanna use them, it's up to you. But these are just such a great way to really cover tier two vocabulary easily, quickly, get their brain ready for the lesson. And it just helps you to have conversations and get to know each other. I mean, looking at this awesome picture of a skydiving, maybe they don't know what skydiving is. Maybe this is a very foreign picture to them of why would two men be strapped to each other? So you can talk about that, or you can show them a video of skydiving, or you can find out if there's ever a time that they were adventurous. What did they do? Or does this look fun to them? There's just so many ways that you can take this one picture and expand on it to really work on speaking skills. So these are the speaking and writing cards. You can buy them for the month or you can buy them for the entire year and have materials ready for every single day that you warm up in your class. These can be used digital or printable. So however you're teaching right now, you can have those available to use. So the first five or 10 minutes, warm up with these speaking cards, have them ready right when students walk in. Then you can move on to the closed reading activities. These are 12 different passages and it really focuses on the skills that our ELLs need to build background, front load vocabulary, listen to the passage, and then work on comprehension skills. So what you could do is you could either leave them all in the set or you could take them, copy them. There's four different slides for this. This is also, you can get printable ones. So you can copy them and you can paste them into a new set. And so then you can just assign this one reader. So let's just walk through it real fast. If let's say we're gonna talk about Thomas Edison, they're gonna look and they're gonna just observe what they see in this picture and write it down. They're gonna then ask a question about this picture, about this person. The next step is they'll move into the vocabulary. So here they're gonna do a knowledge rating scale of these three vocabulary words that they're gonna find in their passage. So maybe they they know what a mentor is. You guys have been talking about that, they know it. Deaf, they don't know, they've heard it, but they're not sure what it means. And then brilliant, they do not know what that means at all. And so this helps them to just prep their mind, prepare for the passage that they're about to read. Then they're gonna make a prediction based off the picture that they saw in this slide, the vocabulary in this slide, the next step is they're going to listen to this passage. The beautiful thing is it's already voiced over for them right here. In the printable version, there's a QR code. Um, but this is great so that if your students, if you're working with newcomers and they can't read this, they can still listen to it on their own independently. Um, then it, they can go through it, trying to read it three different times, working on their fluency, working on um, highlighting the vocabulary words. And then the last step is they're gonna answer some comprehension questions. So these questions will have them go back into the text and look for that information and answer them here. And then they'll move this over to decide what is the best um, answer. They'll move that over. And then here, there's just a quick extra practice. They can go back to the passage and then circle the noun. So you could just take the circle here and they're gonna circle all the nouns. Okay, they could do common or proper. So that's what our close reading is. These, you can really maximize your time. This will, might even take more than one class period um, because you could go further in depth with this. Again, watching videos, pulling out more resources to go in depth. But if you do have some more time, the best way to finish your lesson is by using the differentiated writing passages that go along with those reading passages. So this is something new that we have. Um, 
And so this you can see here, we have Thomas Edison. There's three different levels. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna put them into a new um, activity so that the students don't get confused. There's a level one and two, which are copying the words, matching the pictures. There's level three and four, which they'll be writing some facts about this. And then there's level five and six, which are some quick writes and expanding on sentences. So you could have your students start with level one and two. Um, so here you're gonna have them connect the line to the picture. And so on. Here they're gonna type the word and then here they're gonna figure out which, where those words go in the sentence. They can then practice reading the sentence for fluency as well. Level three and four, they're gonna write some facts in here. And what's great if you're doing this digitally is they can go and search for on the web for a picture and they can just add pictures in here of the different facts that they're writing about. And then they can write the facts over here. You could also turn this into a research project and have them explore and research some more about Thomas Edison or whatever the topic is. Um, and then the last part is this quick write where they're gonna just quickly write five words about Thomas, Thomas Edison and then put those words into three sentences. Then they add in a stronger verb, a stronger noun, a stronger adjective, and then they expand it by adding but or because. So those are the writing passages that you can use to extend your closed reading time. So those three resources are quick and easy to help you have success for the entire month. There's enough to last for the whole month of February, and you can get them all in my Teachers Pay Teacher store at Inspiring Young Learners. Please reach out if you have any other questions, and keep on inspiring young learners. Thanks.